Welcome to Jason versus the Moon. In this video, I'm going to um, go over with you things that I found in a SpaceX YouTube video uh, entitled Live Views of Starman. Uh, what I did is I watched this video uh, the first 24 minutes anyway, it's well over four hours, um, and I've got seven pages of notes on it uh, thus far, so I want to go over some of that with you, and uh, I just have to obviously break this down into different videos, uh, make it a series or something. But, um, uh, yeah, we're going to go over a lot of stuff. And, guys, I mean, um, even the, I mean, the first three minutes is insane how much, um, uh, how much shit happens. It's, it's, an, it's amazing, really, that they, you know, oh, well, they say it's live, and, and maybe it is and stuff, so obviously they can't fix anything. But what they do do is cut the camera to, uh, to, they cut to a different camera quite often. Um, sometimes it seems to be at pretty convenient times, but uh, the one thing I do want to point out that I don't want to have to say whenever the video starts is um, immediately when the video starts, what I notice, and other people have pointed this out, and I'm sure that uh, you have heard of this. If not, uh, check it out. Um, but what, in, what I notice is there's no rear view mirror on the Tesla uh, with Starman, um, and you can see here the clearly this Tesla Roadster has a um, it has a rear view mirror and also no roof. Okay, and then uh, let's see, we got another one here. This is the inside, and this is a little grainy, but still, um, you can see that this one also has a rear view mirror. So just uh, check it for yourself. Um, all I did was put something like the inside of a uh, Tesla Roadster um, and then did Google Images and just looked and, and, and saw you know what I could find. Um, that's how I did it. Anyway, here's a, a screenshot. The reason this one's relevant will make sense uh, towards the end of this, this video. Um, you have this little haze or this little, uh, uh, little bit of shine or something like seems to be coming off the helmet, right? Well, it's dark right here, but then, uh, you know, just a little bit further away, it's like a little haze. So we'll take a look at that, and just remember, um, that'll make more sense towards the end of this video. So let's, uh, let's go ahead and get started with um, the live views of Starman. Uh, all credit to the original video goes to SpaceX. Um, just in case y'all didn't know, uh, it's actually... Um, Space Exploration Technologies doing business as SpaceX. So I think they've been doing business since about 2002. So uh, regardless, credit to SpaceX for, uh, for this. And let's get started. And uh, like I said, the first thing I noticed was no rear view mirror. So let's go ahead and we're playing it. There's no sound on this video. Um, I watched it with headphones on. And just there's, there's nothing on, uh, on audio. Um, one of the things I speculate, you're going to see me bringing up the time bar down here quite often. I need to know, know what time it is. Um, one thing that, that I feel like they, they might say is damage control is, well, why, you know, everyone wants to know why is there no rear view mirror, is they may say that it wasn't necessary and the less weight, the better. Um, but, you know, I don't know, it's weird because Chris Hadfield and, and, and other astronauts take guitars and toys of the earth and different things on the ISS. That doesn't seem to be an issue. I mean... We're, we're, we're shooting guitars up into space, guys, but a rear-view mirror on a Tesla, and it comes stock on there, that's not cool. So 52 seconds, uh, you're going to see the video starts glitching. Coming up right now, and it's like stuttering, okay? And it, it stops after a few seconds. There's a real good stutter right there. Real, real good. Look at that. And I, I suggest on this video, guys... Um, I'm going to pause it real quick. I'm going to do a rewind uh, just real quick on that one, just so you can see some of the glitches. Um, but on the rest of it, I suggest for, for you to go ahead and rewind for yourself and just uh, check what I'm telling you and, and just rewatch it um, because it's just too much for me to continue uh, to do it, do it twice. Um, it'll take just too long. So let's watch that one more time. And what I do personally is I keep my eye on this, what I'm calling the A-frame uh, that probably holds a camera on the front hood of the car. Um, I use that as my reference point and then watch the earth behind it and you see that it glitches. So let's check that out. I mean, it's doing as, as we speak. You can see it's like stuttering. It's not moving smooth. 
and now, now it is, but it wasn't just moments ago. Um, let's see, we're going to be at around 140 is when we're going to see uh, some more glitches start to happen. But, um, you know, in the meantime, just uh, to me, this is only me, uh, this looks fake. Um, that's, that's my opinion. I'm not stating that to be a fact. Just so I don't get anyone out there who's going to start claiming that I... How, oh, how prove that it's fake. Well, I'm doing trying to do my best to do that um, by showing you. There's some more glitches that are going to come right now. They're happening. And once again, I'm using this as my reference point. They're real bad glitches, too. Look at that. Still just not moving smoothly. I think it goes... Uh, it's on and off, yeah, until about 2.10. It just continues kind of stuttering. I mean, just watch the earth. I mean, look, boom, a big jump right there. Um, 2.13 coming up, you're going to see a huge glitch right in this area. What was that? Now, yes, guys, on something like that, I put a star next to that, and that is something I will uh, retract what I said earlier, and we will go back and probably watch stuff like that a second time because it's, it's, too, it's too good not to. Um, let's go to uh, – we'll go to 201, and, yeah, it's, it's going to – we're going to have to watch a little bit. Well, when we hit 213, just watch right here, and you're going to see this really, really big jump, okay? Just pay attention. Uh, and it's coming up right here. Look at that, guys. Big jump. I mean, it just really, uh, that's just, that's pretty damning evidence, in my opinion. Um, I'm going to go and pause there for a moment. <clears throat> um, that's, that's pretty damning evidence to me. And now, this is on their own video. I've done no manipulation. You can go watch this for yourself. I'll leave the link just so you don't have to try to find it. Um, stuff like that, guys. I mean, why is the earth glitching out like that? Um, it's super suspect, man. It, it really is super suspect. So what we're going to do now is... Um, well, we're already there, but what we're going to do is we're going to backtrack just a touch because we're to the point that I'm at. I'm going to show you again. Um, so we've already just started past where the glitch happens. We're going to see the 226 to 229. Um, the earth is going to glitch again. Look at that. On the edges. On the edges. And that one has a star next to it on my paperwork. Um, we are going to check that out, out again. Uh, 226. Well, we don't want to get right at 226. So unfortunately, this video being so long, it only lets us go back um, so much. But check out these edges right here. Right here. Okay, now check it out. Boom. Look at that. And that is... That is something else. So, guys, I mean, we have there in about a, uh, I don't know, 20-second 20 uh, 20 span, we have the Earth glitching out on us twice. Um, now, I wrote this down. Um, yeah, and we're going we're gonna, to uh, go, go back just one more time because this is, uh, I'm going to have to retract everything that I said. 234, I want you to just kind of pay attention to the edge of the, um, the car itself, okay? And just for me, I'm watching this on a big screen. I get my face close on, on the screen trying to look at this stuff. And you can kind of notice that the edge of the car seems to my, kind of pixelate in a sense and kind of affect the earth around it to me as if it possibly could be superimposed. Um, but just check out what I'm talking about and you'll see. See right there, especially it just seemed to like leave behind something that affected the the, the Earth. Um, just go back and, and check that out. Two uh, two forty three to two forty seven. So to two forty three. So I, I have here that there's going to be another Earth Earth glitch. Let's see if that happens. Keep your eye on the Earth. Oh, gosh. Wow. 
Okay, yeah, so I saw that last night, and then seeing it right now is still, like, blowing me away. So uh, what I did, I started a new a new video there. You may have seen a little uh, uh, edit there where I had to uh, switch over. But now I'm, I'm going to show that to you again. And just um, what you're going to do, just watch the earth and watch this glitch at 243. Uh, just keep your eyes on the earth and watch that. Watch that coming up. Oh, man, dude, I'm telling you, right? Okay, there's no denying that that just happened and that the earth glitched out. Guys, we haven't even hit the three-minute mark. What is going on here? You know what I'm saying? I mean, come on. The, the earth glitches like like three different times in the first three minutes. Let me, let me make sure because I'm, I'm getting... Yeah, we've got glitchiness going on three times already on, on this. We're not three minutes in, but... Uh, let me get situated here and see kind of where we're at next. Um, we're going to see a bubble. F uh, I'm, I'm going to call it a bubble, guys, for lack of a better term. It looks like a bubble. You know what I mean? So, that, you know, if it walks like a duck and it talks like a duck, I'm going to call it a duck. Uh, in this case, just re replace duck with bubble, all right? So bubble or, or something flies upward on the left side of car to right of helmet. So... Um, should be in this area, that sounds about right, but that's coming up here in about uh, 7 to 10 seconds. We'll just kind of keep an eye out. In the meantime, don't panic. Um, let's watch this coming. Uh, okay, so keep your eye on this area. I'm not sure how fast this is going to be. There it went. It was real fucking fast. Uh, excuse my language. Um, we're going to see th uh, 337 to 348. Um, we're going to see, it looks like a red glare, okay, and because it, it is a red glare, but it looks to be two light sources coming together. I'm not a camera expert. This is speculation. I'm putting that out there. I'm a transparent kind of guy. Like, I'm trying to so you're like say, I don't know. Keep your eyes up in this area, and you'll, you'll just kind of see what it is I'm talking about. Um, I'll start to, to sh tell you, in it. and then there you see how they, they're coming together. That's just something I noticed. I mean, it's a real quick occurrence, but it just, I, I don't know, it's just strange to me. Just pointed it out, something I took notes of. Um, 403 to 406, another bu bubble passes by the right side of the helmet. So let's keep an eye out right next to that and see if this one's a little slower. That was fast. Flew right up. Oh, we have another one fly, flew right next uh, to that one. What I do want to point out is if you'll go back and rewatch, and or you can just go to the video, guys, and watch for yourself. Um, watch 30 minute, minutes of it like you would a TV show, and, and you'll see the anomalies. But one bubble went flying real fast this way, and then another one came flying up real fast that way. Um, just because I'm saying that, I will go back. Uh, let's just go back 1403. And once again, you're going to see this, and then another one come up there. And... There's that. Well, there it is. And it's fast, so you just got to rewind it. Um, let's see. We got that. 417 camera switches. Um, boom. I'm going to pause it there just so I can talk us in uh, to a couple of things. The camera switches, um, this is a live view, live feed. Um, camera cuts are always kind of suspect on a live feed, in my opinion. Um, it cuts to the, um, I had to look into this, uh, and so, but it's actually the upper stage of the Falcon Heavy rocket. Uh, that's what the Tesla is uh, supposed to be attached to. Um, and um, right here uh, at 421, so just a, a couple of seconds. In fact, we're going to have to go back just so I don't hit it too, uh, too close together. I'll let that play up a little bit and tell you what we got. Um, 421, uh, you're going to see a shiny white thing appears. It's the only way I know how to explain it, guys, for right now. Then two of them appear. A weird glitch of, uh, effect flashes on the right side. So you're going to see these things. We're going to rewind it. Um, let's go ahead and check that out. Coming up on 421. Okay. Uh, 421, we're going to see right up here. Uh, you're going to see some white little points of light. Uh, one in, uh, comes up. Uh, disappears and then another one and then just um, I know it's a lot guys but after you see those lights up here you're gonna see a flash in this area like a glitch effect I don't know how to explain it let's check that out once again keep your eyes up here and then basically just the whole right side of the screen 
there's the one, one light, then the light, multiple lights. And then, okay, so then we can see that they switched the camera. Um, and actually at 4.30, um, we're going to go back once again because this one's got a lot going on in just a short period of time, guys. Talking not, not even really 10 seconds, about 10 seconds, I guess. Um, there's a, a shitload of bubbles uh, or some type of material that flies all over, and then the camera cuts. It's almost like perfect timing. Um, and you notice the objects uh, go in different directions. So uh, let's do that one more time. And this time I, I do notice uh, that all the bubbles uh, are in this area. So keep an eye out for that. There just goes one, two, three. Yeah, it was real, real uh, quick, but still very, very noticeable. Um, and so that is definitely weird. Uh, they just cut at a perfect time. So what we're going to do is go back to 432, uh, as close as we can, 427. And then watch as we come on to the next part of the upper uh, stage of the uh, Falcon Heavy rocket. It's going to switch to another area. Um, maybe it's the other side. But either way, there is another glitch effect at 434 on the right. Uh, remember, they just switched the camera, and this one is glitching too. So keep your eyes again over here. Whenever the camera switches, you're going to see a flash. Once again, let's keep in this area. Boom. So you see that flash. Okay. And there's no denying that there was a flash there. What was it? I can't. I, I'm not even going to try to say because um, I just don't. I just don't have a clue. Um, There's just, it's just too weird. Once again, the bubbles are going to fly out. And once again, I can't, I can't, uh, I can only rewind so, f uh, so far because the video is so long. So it's just a little bit. Now just watch and then you'll see the flash. Boom. There it is. Uh, there's just no denying it, guys. There's a flash on the screen. Um, around 4.37, um, there was uh, points of light, um, and then another weird glitch happens on the right. Uh, the bubble goes straight up. Um, the, on the other camera, right before it cut, the bubbles went primarily. Now, they were pretty much different directions, but primarily uh, the direction they went was down and to the left. So that's kind of odd is, is to see those going in different directions now. Um, so 437. Uh, bottom right, and then look for uh, just another weird glitch. There they are, the little flash of the light. Yeah, another flash all in this area, so feel free to rewind. It's super weird, man. Um, oh, we're not going to pause that. Yeah, because I can talk through this for a minute. Um, basically, on this one, I mean, they cut to uh, an animation of the Earth. Now, yeah, they're not claiming this is a real picture of the Earth. No one would believe that, or would they? But, um, and it seems to just be the, the, the Tesla's trajectory um, or the course that it's on. Um, and, you know, we see this a lot with, uh, with NASA and things like that has given us animations. Um, I understand it must be in attempts to explain, basically, look, guys, it's just going that way. Okay, I skip forward over to the next section. What we'll be looking at here is um, 8 minutes, 40 seconds. Uh, you're going to see two lights moving. Uh, one's going to be up here, one will be down here, and then you'll have uh, one like somewhere right in here moving to the left. So you got two moving to the right, one moving to the left. Um, you get a bunch of glare from the sun, so let's check that out. Okay, here we go. And so you can start seeing this one here moving, but I'll show you uh, when the other one comes. Okay, right here. So you have the top and bottom one moving in unison, and then here comes one uh, right there in the middle going from right to left in the opposite direction. Once again, just something I kind of noticed and pointed out. Um, you know, it doesn't mean anything. Maybe it does, but I'm just pointing that out. I'm going to pause there just for a second. What we're going to look at next, and, and um, 
Uh, it was pretty easy to see as, a, as another bubble comes clearly into view on the right of the helmet. So it should be just in this area, um, just to the right of his helmet, of course. So um, it moves up and to the right at a slow, steady pace. Um, then we're going to see at 9 minutes, 11 seconds, another bubble on the left of the car, you know, somewhere in this area, um, comes straight up much, much faster than the bubble we just would, we will be seeing on the right. Um, and that bubble stays until, uh, we have bubbles stay until 9.34, so let's check that out. And 9.07 is what we're looking for, should be a bubble in this area. Okay, so right here you can see right above my cursor, and then here we have this one that just moved in. So look at the direction and speed that those uh, bubbles are going in. Okay, it's, to me it's, it's, it's very strange. And now look, once again, like I said, this bubble stays in frame all the way until 9 minutes 34 seconds. And you can clearly see, of course, the, uh, the Earth is coming back into view, which we'll pause once that, video, uh, once that bubble goes out. Um, you know, there's so many times throughout this I want to apologize for having to pause and do this, but this is just the, this is a breakdown of the video. Um, it's not, it's for educational purposes, you know, it, if you're not a person who likes to sit there and study on different things, um, it may not be for you, and it's not like the funnest video in the world, but what we are doing here is showing anomalies that you don't expect to see. I should change that to what I, I, I these are anomalies I don't expect to see. So let's move on. We're at 934. Um, around the 9 minute 20 second mark, Earth is back into view. Um, we'll see if they fix the glitches this time. Um, but one thing I want to point out real quick before we move on any further is also, you know, back to those two bubbles that were flying around. We've seen these bubbles, for lack of a better term, um, that, that are flying all around in space. And, and so that leads me to, to ask the question is, is all space debris just white bubble-looking objects um, flying in different directions? Um, why is none of it different colors, different sizes? Why is none of it square? Um, you know, why is it all just uh, little bubbles? Um, it's just real strange. So let's just go ahead. Um, we're back in there. We're going to have some more bubbles coming in here in just a second. Uh, the right of the helmet, There's there it goes there. You can see we got that. Um, that's gonna uh, that's gonna last until ten oh nine, so it's real real slow. I mean, you can see the difference there. Um, and then what we're gonna see next is at ten um, ten minutes twenty seconds, uh, we see some glitching start to happen. I'll I'll probably pause just before that to give it a little more context, but. Uh, but not on the edges of the earth, they're just stuttering, and then that lasts for about 10 seconds. Um, that's coming up, so let me go ahead and finish off my notes. Um, earth is not seen much or for long, I wonder why. And then I put down glitch much, question mark. You know, and that's true because the times that we do see the earth, there are there, there is always going to be, at least from the first 24 minutes, that I can find is every time earth comes back into view, there is some type of glitch or something happening. Um, and, and luckily I was able to prove that to you in, the, in, in less than five minutes on this video. Uh, the earth glitching and little boxes coming off the edge. But what we're going to see here is just a little bit more of the stuttering. So let's just watch the how smooth it, lo it looks now. And then watch as it starts to stutter. There it goes. And it's still stuttering and it lasts for about 10 seconds. So we're getting to that point. Um, okay, and... Seems to be like it's pretty well back to going uh, smooth. Let's pause there just for a second. Uh, now nah, we'll just go ahead and let that ride because I've got a little bit. Um, we're basically going to wait till 11.04 before, um, before anything else. So we'll just watch that. That light seems to stay stationary for the most part. As far as I can tell. Um, 1104 is really what I got written down here is, you know, I realized that the Earth did not move either time we saw it. Uh, this is the second time Earth's come back into view. It just looks like it's stationary. Um, just seems kind of weird. Um, okay, and then there's another camera cut, so we'll stop there real quick. Um, but the clouds are not moving, but I'm going to keep an eye out for that. That's just an observation made, okay? 
most, most of these are observations made and, and they have to be speculation because I can't, I don't know, I can't, I can't do any more than what I'm trying to do right now um, was trying to show you, show you these anomalies. You know, to the best of my ability, I'm trying to bring these up. But what, what, let's get back to this. Is 1118. The camera cuts to the um, the the upper stage of the Falcon Heavy um, again. And once again, guys, it's it's when it's turning away from Earth. You know, um, there's always got to be a camera cut. So let's go ahead and just let that ride for a minute. Um, in 1134, I got some. Uh, okay, the camera cuts again. Uh, this will be to the other view of the, um, I guess, the, the Falcon Heavy. Once it does that, we'll go ahead and pause. That way I can go and, uh, and give you some context as what we're looking for here. Uh, notice the, the bubbles uh, on the bottom left. Okay, so we're going to be looking on the bottom left. Um, they're very slow, and then much faster bubbles fly by. Um, Things sure move all over. If it's not bubbles, then why isn't it damaging the car? Or hell, for the, the rocket for that matter. These things are moving fast at times. They're moving slow at times. But if, they are, or if they're just like little pieces of debris, I mean, should they not be just flying and ripping through this stuff? Or are they bouncing off? I just don't know. But let's check out 1134 uh, right down here. Sorry, I've got that uh, play bar here. But you'll see the bubble clearly uh, real slowly coming in. And then uh, my suggestion to you would be just to keep your eyes on that part of the screen. Well, seems to be that we didn't have a choice. Uh, I'm going to have to end the video there. I've got uh, someone at the door, so I'll be right back. Okay, um, I'm going to backtrack here just a little bit. Uh, but we're, we're back on this bubble here. Um, and it's going to switch over to an animation. So let's let that play. And you can see uh, that was my primary reason for coming back to this point. So... Um, it's going to switch, um, well, it just switched, um, and, um, the camera cuts, um, uh, that bubble made it pretty obvious, and they did what I consider a pretty perfect timing cut. Um, 1222 is going to come up, um, what's going to happen is we're going to get a new view of the Tesla from the driver's side, so a different camera view, and as soon as the camera switches, uh, two fast bubbles go flying up quickly, that's going to happen here in just a second. I'm sure it's real obvious, so let's just watch for them. we got to rewind. Okay, and they were over there on the right side of the screen. So we'll go back uh, just a little bit. And let's see, where is our next closest point? 1218 will have to do. And 1222, so just look over here right now. And boom, there you go. So there's two of them that flew up real quick. Um you can start to see the earth and I guess what's supposed to be oh there went another bubble uh it's supposed to be the sun I'm not real sure what this light source that always stays on the helmet seems to be um but anyway let's um let's pause there for a second because we've got bubbles that are going to be coming in um another bubble on the right side of the screen uh pretty much where we've been seeing them and at 1248 uh right above the hood on the left side, so somewhere in this area, um, just in that area, um, a bubble moves left to right in a horizontal line, slow pace. The reason I find that weird is we just saw other bubbles flying real fast straight up. So let's take a look at that. Bubbles on this side. And then, oh, another one on the right. Oh, here comes, and here comes right above my cursor. You can see this real slow bubble, and like I said, guys, I'm calling it bubble for lack of a better term. Um, this bubble is coming in slow, real, real slow to the right, making pretty much a horizontal line, whereas all these other bubbles have been flying up real fast on the right side of, of this guy. Uh, so, so that's real strange. Um, let me pause here just for a second. Um... And right before I think we get into um, where they're going to show Earth again, um, I think we're going to stop it here, make this part one. Uh, but like I, uh, what I'd like to do is take us over to Shotcut real quick, just to take a look um, a little closer at some photographs that we've, uh, well, that I've taken screenshots of in this video. So let's do that.
Okay, so here we are in Shotcut, and what I did, like I said, I just took a few screenshots. Um, just wanted to see what was going on, because I noticed this real weird haze or kind of shine around the guy's um, the Starman's helmet. Uh, so what we're going to do, we'll go to the first picture, um, and we'll adjust levels. Just the gamma only. Okay, we'll go ahead and we'll just zoom in. Well, that's not even enough. Let's go 200. And that starts to bring up the boxy colored, uh, st you know, artifacts. If you want to call them JPEG artifacts, fine. But um, let's go ahead and see if that's true by reviewing more than one area of the photo and more than one photo. Um, you know, why is it so smooth here? And why is there a gap in this area? You got blue, blue, gap, blue. There's clean edges too. What's up with that? Now you come down here, the car's edges aren't necessarily clean, but there is no boxiness. Um, so that's something to consider. Uh, you come over here and these, uh, these arms that are attached, uh, the structure attaching the car to the Falcon Heavy rocket, uh, apparently, um, that is just got boxes, it's got boxes all over it. And then we get to the right side of the car and then the right side actually has some artifacts on the side. So left... Um, no, right side, yes. Um, more about um, the side view mirror. This one is even more uh, uh, strange than the other one. So you can check that out. And then let's go to Starman. Um, look at all of this weird, you know, like this shine or this haze or whatever it is coming off of, of the top of his helmet. Okay. Um, let's go ahead and take levels away, and then you can see it's still there. I know some people may claim, I um, mean, I initially had tried to write it off as maybe it's just the sun reflecting off of it, but um, when you can actually see that there's a haze, um, or there's something, and actually, let me just, you know what, guys, let's just get in there. And, and so the reason I'm going in this far is because I, can, I wanted to show you. You can see here... How that's not part of the helmet, and it's shining in a straight line, right? But only just right to about here. But the other thing is, if you'll follow my mouse and look, it's black here. Black, black. Now, there's a little bit of stuff, but then you get back over here, and it's a black. So it's kind of like there's a black uh, area, like layer, and then over that's a gray layer. Okay, and so that just seemed kind of strange to me. Um, but once again, let's hit levels, and you can just kind of see that doesn't seem to be um, what I could consider to be a real photograph, or at least they're 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 telling us it's something that I don't believe it to be. Um, that's one photo. Let's go ahead and move on. Um, this is just really to show uh, once again that haze, but I probably don't really need to do this. It's going to be the same thing. So we'll move on to the next one because that's pr basically probably from the same uh, picture. Um, let's see what we have going on on this one. More of the same, yet it's a different photo. We can even adjust the light a little if we want to intensify the artifacts coming up. Um, but let's see if we hit 500. Well, that's a little bit much. Let's go 200, and that's good. And this is a, still this is a different photo, um, but it's you can see the effects. And now the reason you know it's a different photo, especially once we get to the side view mirrors, is it's just completely changed from what the artifacts were doing around it before. It's a whole new uh, style, so to speak. Um, here you go once again with those arms, the left side of the car. And then this actually doesn't even really look, uh, guys, like a side view mirror. Um, look at this one. It's actually missing kind of part of it down here. And now look on this side. It's, it's, it's like we took away the missing stuff and added it to this one or something. This is like all kinds of weird shit. What is this on the bottom? And then go over here. And why is it missing here? So, uh, convince me otherwise this is uh, not a fake picture. I'm, I've mentioned this video many times, speculation. I use that word, and um, there's nothing wrong with that because it is speculation, but it's based off observation, and I'm trying my best to show you guys this stuff. Um, 
this little area over here, it's just, look at it. What, what, what is it and where did it come from? Um, Let's we'll see if we can't find it. There it is. I mean, look at that. It's just a, it's just a thing just out in the blackness of what's supposed to be space. Um, so I don't know. But once again, really, uh, the way that I know that this is this has got to be fake is the side view mirrors. So I would I don't know. Check check it out and tell me what you think. Let's hit levels on here, and we already know we just hit hit with the gamma. <clears throat> kind of. Uh, Let's kind of check out everything again. Already know the boxiness. Okay, so we do still have this bottom part missing on here. But now, this is completely different. Look, it's like a 90 degree right here. Perfect 90. Um, and then you just see just that is so that's so weird to me. But not only is that weird, um, of course we've still got all of this. Why is that not colored and everything else is colored? Shouldn't the 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 artifacts be consistent? Um, I would think. I don't know. There's also this area of the car is reflective. So let's check this out because this really blew my mind. I was like, what is what is, what is the point or purpose of this little thing? It's, it's, it's a rectangle, a perfect rectangle, and then some weird kind of shape leading into a circular type object. Obviously, it's not perfect circle, but circular nonetheless. So uh, what's up with that? Rectangle, bunch of boxy things creating a circular object possibly. <clears throat> Excuse me. Just out in the, in the, in the blackness of space. But when you see over here, now we got one over here. It could it be the same thing and we're just seeing it in a different position? No, because we already saw this doesn't have a rectangle. Um, this one uh, this one did have a rectangle, so let's look at it just one more time. Um, it seems it's going to be hard to find. There we go. So, yeah, pretty strange. Let's move on to the next photo. Of course, we're going to have to zoom out. I'm not sure what I found on this, so let's just find out together. Okay, so yeah, um, I was thinking at first, I was like, man, you know, shouldn't we still see something in this area, but it's completely black, but I'll write that off because I don't know. Um, but here's another spot again, which we'll go check out. And then at this point on um, the earth, you can see it kind of has some uh, stuff going on on the outside. We'll zoom in and see. But once again, here's the shine on the helmet. We've got the boxiness of the car. Um, if anyone is having their doubts on the side view mirror dilemma that I, um, I'm pointing out, um, let's talk about it again. It's not a moot point at, the, at this point in time because of kind of showing that, um, like I said, the key word I'm using in this video a lot is anomalies. Um, this is an anomaly in my opinion. This is not something I would expect to see. Um, as part of a missing side view mirror, it's supposed to be real. But you don't tell me the shadows are just going to, a little bit of shadow are going to completely do that. And then what about the point on this? Well, this side doesn't have as much shadow. Okay, well, let's check it out though. But it's in the areas where it is shadowed, look. Look what happens. Boom. Shit shows up all in the shadows. Okay, but over here... Part of the side view mirror is missing because of the shadows? Doesn't make sense. Why is some of it uh, creating colored boxes in the shadowed area or gray boxes? And then uh, some areas it's missing. I mean, I know it's redundant, but I mean, just keep looking back and forth. It's like, you know, try to find uh, the what's different on, on each side view mirror. I mean, look at this. Look at all this stuff. And, it, and yet that is in the blackness of space or in a shadow. So, super strange. Um, let's move over to the Earth and take a quick look at that. And I know, guys, atmosphere is going to create some type of effect, but, I mean, what about all these colored boxes here? And then what about the jaggedness around the edges? Um, it's just something to consider. It just looks weird. I uh, don't know. Anyway, I just wanted to point that out. Um, you know, is it damning evidence? Possibly, but I don't know. We'll be right back. 
All right, we're back. Um, this is the photo we left off on. Um, really only got one more for the time being. Um, didn't do too many screenshots. Um, this is something that's from a little bit further in the video. Um, I feel like I didn't mention it, but let's just, for the, for the sake of arguing with myself, let me just go ahead and mention it now. I am. I, I don't know what to make of this, but it's just an observation, uh, kind of a, what I would consider a common sense kind of kind of thing. Uh, here with this tire is okay. I've considered is could it be a solid tire? And I think that's a real possibility. Um, but yet I still don't know with it, you know, being put around the rim if it would create any type of air in there to where the the vacuum of space would affect this tire what i'm getting at basically is is this why is this tire either a not inflating to the point where it pops and blows up and in which case the car would be damaged in some kind of way because all these things are made of cheap plastic um or to be the inverse of that why is it not shrinking up and sucking itself into where it just implodes on itself but uh, probably still going to cause some type of damage to the car, you know, visible damage. Um, and then there's this C, which is it's a solid tire. There's no air in, the, in there, and, and it's just, I don't know. There's no effect on, on it because it's, it's solid. I don't know. I just, I have a hard time believing that a Tesla Roadster that can make it in space. I mean, we've heard astronauts before on ISS um, interviews or astronauts that have been on the ISS interviewing in schools and places like that. They talk about, you know, that space, space is a harsh environment. The ISS, you know, it, it does take damage out there. There are, there are, uh, like I'm trying to think of what his, what Kelly, the uh, astronaut, something Kelly, he says uh, his specific words were flecks of paint fly off of the ISS whenever someone called him out on water bubbles um, in the footage of him doing a spacewalk. And, and, and he says, no, it's flecks of paint. Yet um, we don't see uh, any of that. And now you can say all these bubbles flying around are flecks of paint. Well, why aren't they red? Why are they circular? Why do they move in different directions and speeds? Um, I'm just trying to go against any argument that I may foresee in the future because, I mean, I'm really doing my best to break this down. I'm not saying I'm 100% correct. Um, we ja we're jacking up the gamma here on the last one, and here's what you can see the difference in. Um, look at this photo, which has the gamma adjusted from the front. And once again, we've always had issues with side view mirrors throughout these images. Um, on this one, I've thought about this as well. You've got what appears to be the sunlight, obviously. Uh, what, what, well, no, it's not obvious because we don't see the sun at this point in the video yet. Um, when we do see the sun, it's kind of strange, but... What I'm pointing out here is basically is a, a, gamma's, uh, a gamma is adjusted. Um, input Y doesn't do much for us here. We can do some of this and try to do that negative image and stuff. But basically, um, basically what happens is when gamma is, is, is fully up, you know, we're not really getting the same effect. Yeah, it's from a different camera. Um, no, I don't. Um, know what camera equipment that they used. I don't imagine that someone would go into an emission like this and say, you know what, guys, we've put so much time and effort, and that's, this is assuming it's real. This is assuming that the Tesla's really in space and all of this actually happened the way it's being um, shown to us. I don't think that someone's going to come up with the idea and say, well, we put this much time and effort into it. Let's just go with, uh, let's go with every camera a different brand. A different, you know, different megapixel, different angle, uh, or different, you know, lens. Uh, so it shows a wider or narrower angle. I mean, I don't know. Like, no one would do that. So why aren't we seeing the same effect? That's a possibility is that it's different camera equipment. It's also a possibility is that the sun uh, light or this light of whatever kind of light it is, um, is making it so that the gamma doesn't do it um, the same way it does in the other photos like this. So, I just don't, I just don't know what to say about it. It's kind of weird, but um, there it is. That's really the only reason I've got this photo up. Um, that's going to be it for this part one. There, there's going to, there's, there probably could potentially be uh, all the way to a part fifty uh, on something like this. But 
you know, I know it gets redundant, but look at this stuff for yourself. Um, I'm just pinpointing the times, the, se uh, the minute and second, um, and, and kind of taking notes on what happened. Um, every anomaly that I'm seeing myself, I'm trying to catch them all. Um, you know, it, it, this isn't, you know, this isn't a conspiracy theory. Uh, this is observ observable evidence. Um, it's me breaking down a video that you can go look at on SpaceX's YouTube channel live views of Starman. Um, it's not done nothing to manipulate this footage. So that's just kind of how it, how this video has uh, gone down thus far. Uh, let me know what you think, man. And, and I hope this opens your eyes to some things. I mean, um, if it's not being faked, I, I don't know how to explain all of this because it's not what you expect to see in a real life event. So not what I expect to see, I should say. So thanks for watching.